Glorious day to all the saints of God tuning in today because it is Rhapsody time, reality time. And living for His glory is our title for the article of 23rd of February. Reading the opening scripture from the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 15, it writes, And that He died for all, that they which live should not henceforth live unto themselves, but unto Him which died for them and rose again. In these last days, there is only one thing that matters. Living for the Lord. Living for His glory. Living a life of purpose. Jesus showed us the example to follow in this regard. In John chapter 17 verse 4, He said, I have glorified thee on the earth. I have finished the work which thou gavest me to do. That ought to be your thinking as well. Glorifying the Father should be your passion and purpose for living. How do you glorify the Father? It is by doing His will, doing that which He commits to you, and finishing the work. Have you discovered His purpose for your life? Are you about His work? The purpose of the Father is the salvation of the whole world. That is the reason He sent Jesus. And your purpose in life is connected to this. No matter what you do in life, if you are not reaching the lost and winning souls, you are living an empty life. The Bible says God is unwilling that any should perish but that all men should come to repentance. And you can see this in 2 Peter chapter 3 verse 9. You bring Him glory in making this happen. Glory to God. He seeks to beautify the lives of those around you and lead them into righteousness through you. That is living a purposeful life. It doesn't matter how fruitful or effective you might have been in other areas. You must seek to excel in soul winning, in taking the gospel to the lost, hopeless, hurting and downtrodden, not just in your world, but also in the regions beyond. A life well lived, a successful life that pleases God, is one that achieves those things God destined you to do. Therefore, bring Him glory by being effectual in leading men to righteousness. Amen. Hallelujah. I am effectual in leading men to righteousness. What a life we have in Christ. Glory to God. Now, you may partake in this prayer as you say this after me. Dear Father, I thank you for giving me the opportunity and ability to influence those in my world with the gospel. I go forth today in the fullness of the blessings of Christ impacting my world with your grace and righteousness turning men from darkness to light and from the power of Satan unto God in Jesus' name Amen Praise the Lord forevermore Now for more insight in today's message of living for his glory you are encouraged to study and meditate on these scriptures in john chapter 17 verse 1 and matthew chapter 5 verse 16 glory 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 be sure you are living in his glory because there is nowhere you would rather be hallelujah to get your own copy of the Rhapsody of Realities by Pastor Chris Oyahilome, simply click on the link from our description and download the full PDF in the language of your choice. Subscribe to this channel and see yourself moving upward and forward only as you work the Word of God in your life. Don't just stop there. Let your light so shine before all men. Tell them about this life of glory and share these messages and podcasts with them. Like our videos and let others know in the comments down below that you got born again and received salvation. And we will get in touch. See you again tomorrow. We trust you have been blessed by this devotional. We invite you to make Jesus Christ the Lord of your life by praying thus. O Lord God, I believe with all my heart in Jesus Christ, 
Son of the Living God. I believe He died for me, and God raised Him from the dead. I believe He is alive today. I confess with my mouth that Jesus Christ is the Lord of my life from this day. Through Him. And in His name, I have eternal life. I'm born again. Thank you, Lord, for saving my soul. I'm now a child of God. Hallelujah! Congratulations! You are now a child of God. To receive more information on how you can grow as a Christian, please get in touch with us by emailing us at tni. Dot msia at gmail dot com. That's tni dot msia at gmail dot com. We look forward to hearing your testimony. You are blessed.